So, of course, this is the place for insomniacs, right? You know who's probably still up at this hour? <laughs> They're probably not watching our show. All the stars in Hollywood still yeah, partying. I could imagine. And the producers of a certain movie musical are probably leading the parties, and they are probably paying for the bill after a big night at the Globes. From the opening dance sequence spoof. To the biggest awards of the night. Ryan Gosling. <laughs> it was clear. And the Golden Globe goes to Emma Stone. <laughs> this was La La Land's night. La La, La, La Land. Land. <laughs> somebody's eyes. The musical love story based in the City of Angels took home a record setting seven awards, including Best Picture, Comedy Musical, and the top acting honors to Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling. While Gosling's acceptance speech made the internet swoon over his love for actress Eva Mendez. If she hadn't have taken all that on so that I could uh, have this experience, um, it would surely be someone else up here other than me today. So, sweetheart, thank you. It was one of his fellow nominees whose reaction to the loss won the internet. Cameras catching Ryan Reynolds and Andrew Garfield's impromptu intense kiss as Gosling took the stage. Plenty of surprises on the movie drama side. French actress Isabelle Hubert taking home top honors for the controversial rape revenge flick Elle. And Manchester by the Sea's Casey Affleck for Best Actor, while Moonlight won for Best Drama. The three-hour show tinged with political jokes and speeches, perhaps none more than actress Meryl Streep's as she picked up the Lifetime Achievement Award. Hollywood is crawling with outsiders and foreigners. And if we kick them all out, you'll have nothing to watch but football and mixed martial arts, which are not the arts. On the TV side, it was a coronation for Netflix Crown, winning Best Actress and Best TV Drama Honors. And the new FX show Atlanta, a big winner on the comedy and musical side. And first time nominee Tracy Ellis Ross winning for Best Actress in a TV series, comedy. As for fashion, while it appears the plunging V-line was the co-star of the night for many leading ladies, and the men brought their beards to the awards, seemingly half the male presenters and winners sporting the scraggly look. John Hamm called it the beard parade of 2017. Uh, you know, I love a man with a beard. But, <laughs> you know, I was so happy to see Atlanta do so well. That show yeah. is so smart, so funny, so well done. I hope it turns a lot more people onto the show. And so popular. Another popular show was Stranger Things, and many of the stars for that, they won the night by taking a whole lot of selfies with many of the stars throughout the evening.